First day at the shop. Let's see how she looks underneath. Let's see how she looks. Yeah. Old Bessie. Snap on. <laughs> Somebody left a light in here. Free light. Oh, guess it's mine now. Yeah. Oil filter housing. Damn, they took this off roading. Well, I saw a lot of dirt in the gas tank area. He went with fail inspection. There's axle, the boot. There's axle right here. Yeah. See leak. I don't, I don't see any rust down here. I mean, there's surface rust, but nothing too crazy. Just straight, just straight. You join the group. You're good. I think you just need brakes and rotors. Slow. Slow. We'll look into the other housing thing you mentioned for the oil uh, filter, but and then the axle. You're good, you're good. <laughs> Come look on this side. Slow. The wheel bearing. Wheel bearing and you hear that? Yeah, I do. It's your inner tie rod. How's this side holding up? This one's good. This one's good. Should I replace both at the same time just to be safe? Or? Yeah, it's good to do it at the same time. But. Oh, yeah, that really looks good. Nice and clean. Brake parts going there. Wow, that's real clean now. Yeah. Nice and clean. Perfect. The full detail will bring out the paint a little bit, bring the gloss back in the paint. Um, and the headlights definitely need some buffing, a little bit of uh, like some kind of coating, you know, keep them protected. Sounds good. Needs to be brushed down. There's, you know, a lot of dirt and all the cracks and crevices. A lot of steam will take care of this. All the dirt that's in the wells, the iron that's caked up on the wheel wells. Some trim restore on all the plastic. I've got some wrap too. If you want to wrap these, and they're coming off on the edges. I've got gloss black and I've got flat black wrap. If you are interested in wrapping that, something we can do together. Do together, yep. we, you know. You don't always have to pay me. <laughs> we can always do it together. I'm over there looking at Ahmed's YouTube channel for Acceleration Automotive, and look what he surprised me with. Oh my God. Like new. <laughs> that's look at the difference though can't wait to do the rest of this sunday that is amazing Hey everyone, thanks again for watching and thank you for your patience. So, I really appreciate Ahmed and Ali yet again getting me out of a jam. They did a full pre-inspection for free and they even helped me do the radiator when that cracked right after I left the shop. So, total cost with the radiator and the parts and repairs they mentioned is just over $500, which puts me just over six grand for the total investment in this vehicle. Um, 
Some people have asked why I bought one of these uh, Subarus, considering the reliability issues with head gaskets. It's definitely a meme. Uh, but this car has been maintained very well. I'll put the service records in the description, but the uh, guy also claimed the head gaskets were done and the turbo was rebuilt, which I don't have proof of, but for 167,000 miles, this car pulls, man. I uh, absolutely assassinated a 90s Mustang GT on the highway from 40 to 70, so that was pretty cool. But also just the practicality. Those are the old replica AP, uh, AP2 wheels. I'm going to sell them because I bought some original uh, AP2 wheels. And, uh, you know, I, I can fit almost anything in here. Gym bag, clothes. I, uh, it'd be a lot easier to move when I get in my own place with a car like this. And as you see, the snow in the back, uh, you know, off-road and winter capability is definitely a plus. Definitely wouldn't want to off-road in the S2000. And, you know, I can keep mileage off of the uh, S2Ks as well. So, you know, I wanted to try the Subi Life. I see why people are liking these cars. Uh, definitely interesting. Definitely like that Subi Rumble. But we'll see what happens next. I definitely have a few videos planned out. But uh, I'll update you guys on the Oscar situation soon. I'll uh, hopefully take care of the rest of this car in the next few weeks. And I will see you in the next one.